This is Vanessa Joy here with Adorama TV and I'm showing you my three absolute favorite reflectors. All right, we're gonna start shooting with the Canon 1DX Mark III. By the way, you wanna see videos about this? There's a great one here with David Bergman. Anyway, we've got the 1DX Mark III here. I'm gonna shoot portraits with the 85 millimeter 1.4. Love the image stabilization in this darling. And then I have my model over here, Jen, and we're going to be photographing her all around the beautiful town of Asbury Park. Number one reflector that I have here is the Lastolite Tri-Grip. And the reason I like this one is because it's a great reflector that you can hand hold all by yourself, assuming that we don't have this wonderful hand you keep popping in here. <laughs> but it's a great reflector. This one, the one that I have is silver and white. I think they might come in different skins, but this is what I've got. And you can hand hold it while photographing wherever you're gonna photograph. So let's take some shots and see how they are. Now I'm specifically backlighting her because I wanted to have a white background. This one's really great when you're by yourself, you have to hold the light and fill it in. Now I was able to get nice angular shots, see what I was doing and get really great shots of Jen. Now let's go to my second favorite. I'm giving away a camera. We're giving away a Canon camera, a Profoto A1X, a copy of my book and a copy of Capture One version 20. There are lots of ways to enter, so make sure that you do check the link below and come back daily for new ways to enter this contest. Next one is the Lastolite Halo. Now the nice thing about this, this is not safe. We'll just put that down. <laughs> the nice thing about this one is it's so compact. I travel a lot for a lot of the photography work that I do or conferences and bringing a round reflector is kind of annoying. So this little darling, you just put together. You've probably seen a few of the other Adorama TV hosts putting this together and using this on this show. So this is likely not unfamiliar for you. But the other nice thing, just kidding. The other nice thing about this is you can have one halo frame and then you can have multiple skins. These guys, this one's silver and white, but there are a lot of other options. So now that we've got it put together, that was much more effort than actually is required, uh, but it's all in fun. This is super light. The nice thing about it being so light, uh, again, is that you can just handhold it yourself. It is round, so it's a little bit different of a shape, obviously, than the tri-grip. And again, you can get different skins for it. The other thing that's great is that it's really, really tight. You could practically bounce, you know, beans off of this if you wanted to. So you don't have to worry about it rolling up in any way. It's really gonna maintain the circular form. All right, so you saw the shot with the white background. So let's just do something a little bit different. Jennifer, I'm gonna have you right about here. Now we've got a light background in the back. I think that should actually work nicely. Ooh, a little bit of blue maybe, we'll find out. All right, now I'm gonna do a little bit of a no-no for you and I am gonna use Live View. Why? Because I feel like going all the way down to 1.4 on this 1.4 lens so that I'm not getting any shake here. My shutter speed is all the way up at 1250. You know, if I'm just shooting optically, then I can only get the head and face detection, but this has the added benefit of eye detection. All right, so why am I not using a reflector yet? She looks so gorgeous. All right, let's use a reflector. <laughs> Take a little step towards me, actually, because I want to be able to get this sun and give her some hair light. Yeah, right there. All right. I know most of the time you think of reflectors and you think you're going to light their face, and that's great, but this time I'm going to light the back of her hair to give herself a little bit of separation from the background. notice the difference when the hair light is not there. She kind of blends right back into the background and you don't see all the texture in her awesome curly hair. Now let's go to my absolute favorite third reflector that I love and really use anytime I can. All right, so this is the Glow 5-in-1 reflector. This is my go-to. This is what I use on every wedding, every shoot, as long as I can, and as long as I have an assistant. That is the caveat with this one, but it can do so much. So let's do a whole bunch of shots with it. So right off the bat, this is silver and white, but hey, let's do something a little bit different. The reflector has a diffuser panel. Let's see how we can use that first. So harsh sun is when I would use a reflector or diffuser rather like this. 
so we can block the sun, but not just block it. It's not about just blocking it. I'm actually going to light her face with it with an overhead kind of clamshell sort of light. And we're gonna get it as close to her as we possibly can because the closer it is, the bigger light source. So now we are bringing this reflector in so we can add more touch light and fill in these shadows in her face. All right, now the last thing we're gonna do, we're going to switch onto the other side, another reason, or the rest of the reason why it is a five-in-one reflector. We've got the black side here, which is just going to block any sunlight that we want, which is great, or we can flip it and use this gold and silver side. Now, this is gonna give us a warm reflection, but not super warm since it's mixing it in with the silver as well. Let's see what this looks like when we put it on her face, and then I wanna use it as background. So the last thing we're gonna do is use the gold as a reflector, which is gonna look great in the shot. Looking for some inspiration? Then make sure you download my free posing inspiration guide. It's full of ideas for individuals, couples, and groups. Grab it in the link below. I hope you enjoyed my favorite three reflectors. Let me know any fun reflectors that you have found and how you use them in the comments below. Be sure to hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss a thing here on Adorama TV. See you next time.